this is a shitty home uh, video on my S4. Uh, basically, I just wanted to show you guys my setup because well, I think a lot of you guys have wondered um, what I do uh, whenever I sit here in the uh, grotto and record and all that good stuff. So I figured I would like show you guys. So we've got um, multiple uh, GTA 5 posters. This one, fantastic, uh, custom built, uh, well actually custom printed from uh, Mr. Zachary Hausnacht. It is fucking huge guys, look how big that is. Like, it's, there's a regular size door, look at that, amazing. Um, how about this, here we go. Oh, uh, copyright ID from uh, Little Mermaid. Uh, look at the, okay, this is a horse blanket uh, that my, uh, from my grandma, and I'll tell you what, I thought it was a horse blanket, so I was like, oh, those are really cool. Because uh, I do like some horse blankets, like those, you know, those real nice, uh, soft, I mean, the fabric's awesome. Uh, the real soft fabric, and I was like, oh, cool, because I just saw this. And then I saw the tulips, so I was like, well, I can live with that. Turns out the fucking thing's a unicorn uh, with a moon equipped, moon equipped. So it's a little twin bed here in the uh, in the old room, but uh, she gets it done. Uh, so yeah, GTA 5, GTA 5, GTA 5. This is what we do when we're like, this is what I study when I'm trying to find um, uh, where everybody is. And here we are. Recently, the one indeed goes into the 13, and this is where everybody gets fucked up because there's the one, and then where's the five? The f where's the five? It turns into the five for like a few seconds. I don't even remember why. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, here's a Russian hat that I use for work. It's not a real Russian hat, but it's like kind of a Russian hat. Um, guitars, multiple guitars. That's my baby, my uh, Fender Strat. Uh, and yes, that's dead skin on it. Real gross, I know. Everybody's like, they're so fucking gross. Um, that come in here and see it, but to be honest, I like it. It builds character. There is uh, my keyboard. Um, it, I've had that keyboard for fucking ages. I can't even tell you when. Um, when I do track IR, I like to use a decent uh, hat. And this is my Hawaiian Airlines hat that was given me, to me by Hawaiian Airlines for working one of their charter flights for the Oakland Raiders. And that is the track IR clip because I'm cheap. I don't have the Trek Pro, that is the, uh, the LED lights, so we have that, there's a scarf and some other trash, who knows, there's the G27 in a trash can, because it deserves to not be in the trash can, and uh, here's duct tape, so when I do these special cam reviews, this is real, this is totally fucking legit, um, here, bleh, well, like a boom stand, right, you know, boom, boom stand. I literally duct tape the uh, the webcam to it. So, real profesh, you know, that's what, that's what I do. First um, lamp, and I do sometimes throw it around to where it becomes a key light. There's a reflection of me uh, and a wife beater. Uh, that's a really cool camera angle. Anyway, so moving along, here she is with trash and trinkets galore on top. Um, here's the Dell XPS Studio. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's old, but, um, she's still ticking as of right now. We have a 32-inch, um, uh, I'm not conceited or anything and have my, uh, YouTube channel up there. I just, I was like, well, it's YouTube, so why not just throw it up there, uh, the YouTube? That's why I did that. I'm, uh, what else? Okay. I'm kind of like really a weird t uh, thinking today in my brain. I'm just like going really slow. Um, anyway, here is the first uh, item of my fly simulator fun. That is the, what does that even mean? I don't know. This is the uh, throttle quadrant. I have it set up for my Metro. So speed levers, throttles, um, there's the flaps, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, here is the yoke. It's very big. Most people see these uh, SciTech yokes and they don't think they're that big. This is my hand. I mean, like, I'm a pretty, I don't know, a regular looking person, but my my hand, 
is uh, not like small or anything. And look how big that son of a bitch is. It's about as big as a 737 yoke almost. So you wouldn't think it, but it really is. Down below, lots of wires. Uh, that's the awesome audio sound system. And you may be wondering why I have a bobby pin, because I don't know why I have a bobby pin. Or a smart water um, bottle cap. I keep these bottle caps because I have to use it for these. Uh, you know, the, the cheap shit fucking, uh, what you call it, desks they make these days are so thin, paper thin, that you have to shove bottle caps underneath them in order for those to work. So that's the reason, uh, and this is even plugged in, usually that light does come on. So yeah, we got the 32 inch Vizio uh, as my main monitor. Here's a Track IR. Now the Track IR is tiny. Like again, hand comparison, you know, it's it's small little guy. He doesn't, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger when I saw it. Uh, there's my webcam, piece of shit, uh, life cam. There's the second monitor on Skype. Um, and I'm not like showing any like crazy behind the scenes stuff. There's just, you know, there's, there's my Skype. So cool. Uh, and everybody's renamed, so don't even try to like look them up. There's the uh, the studio lighting from uh, via Target. And it's got a lot of different modes of lighting. So if I do live streams, sometimes I do that. I light myself up real purdy like um, so I'll turn that off don't need that on here's the microphone it is a perception AKG 220 I'll hear it let me take off the pop filter and you can see it yeah she's pretty I know that's why I love her um, and there's those special modes if you want to know how we get our voices there it is just kidding uh, Bugs has the exact same uh, he has the exact same one I do um, amazing Pro Studio, uh, I think it actually says Pro Studio or something. American Audio HP 550s. When I used to DJ, um, weddings, I used these. So I had them for a long time, and then they broke, so that's electrical tape holding on those, uh, together. Here's some, uh, guitar strings I got for Christmas from my, uh, lovely mother. That's a, that's not Guinness, that's actually Coca-Cola. I was drinking some Bud Select. Uh, but then I moved over to the Coca-Cola, and that's a really dusty remote. Look at this. First gen, baby. Xbox 360, live and kicking. Dirt and all. This is what I use to record um, my GTA 5 with, guys. I know, who gives a shit? Xbox 360. There it is, the Ridge. It's not um, legit at all when it comes to the, the Elgato. Because if you look at the Elgato... I'm using component cables. I'm not even using HDMI because it doesn't have HDMI. How about that? Sliding all over to the left here. We've got my... This is what I run all my audio on. It's a Pod X3 Live. It's a guitar processor. Um, and you can see this is Jeff's mic on there now. If I go over to my second tone, and it lights up. I know, really cool. Uh, Bugs Mic 1. Look at that. Because when we were doing the Jeff and Bugs show, that's what these presets are already set up. So when I hit these presets, it already EQs them and all that from what I did. Uh, I'll show you real quick. N totally not legit um, way. <laughs> but here's Gearbox. It's a program that runs and it controls all of uh, that shit over there. So here we are. Um... Large hall, that's the reverb, if I want to turn the reverb on. But uh, here's the magical settings. There's the EQ I use. Um, also, very important, compression. That's my compression settings. Uh, and noise gate. There's the noise gate. Got to have those three. Those are the three main things. Compression, uh, EQ, and noise gate. Those, if you want to have good sounding quality uh, microphone, that's or vocals, that's what you do, or commentary, voiceover, whatever you want to call it. Uh, rolling over here to the left, uh, there's the Grand Theft Auto uh, box underneath there, or this shit. This is the uh, Xbox 360 headset, I know. It's newer than the actual uh, controller. Really, really cool. Here's a Amethyst stone. Love Amethyst. It's an amazing stone of all sorts. Here's a Kitty Hawk 727. I used to work with them. And that was the airplane that I used to work with, a 727. 200. For all the AV Asian guys, they'd be like, um, that's a 727, 200, not a 100. I didn't say 100, but, you know, they probably would have said it anyway. There's the, um, uh, scanner my dad got me a long time ago. I cherish pretty much everything my parents ever give me. I, I'm just, I've 
I just grew up that way, I guess. Here's a, it's called the Grey, Graycom Weather Alert. Uh, that may be able to come up to life during uh, storm season, so. I didn't actually mean to have this out. This was just out today when I was going through my shit. And it's indeed my pilot logbook. So, I'm not making shit up when I say uh, I actually have done it. Um, and let's see how many hours I have recording to today. Look at this shit. Um, what's this, 20? That's actual instrument time, 20 hours. I haven't added it up, so it's like, oh, 71.8 hours plus 1.2. So there's 89, 10, there's your eight. So that's like actually 72.8 hours total. I can do math, wow. Didn't think it. How many landings? Um, landings, I was like at 153 day, 28 night. And then look at this, I love this. Cause you look over here, 12, 9, 2010, last flight. That was before the, um, that's the basic IFR introduction course I took, uh, three hours actual, um, or no, that's not three hours, that was 0.8 hours, it was three landings. Um, anyway, here's the, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of depressing to see because I really wish I could continue to fly, but uh, it's a very, very expensive thing, and if uh, you're not properly financed to do it, you cannot do it, so that's pretty much how it is. That, if you're wondering what that box was, and I didn't get to it earlier, with all this dust on it. It's the Mic Power One, made by Rolls. That is the phantom power that powers the microphone. Then it goes into there, back there, and then funnels around in, or actually, fuck, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong. It's, oh, USB, yeah, I was right. Funnels around, back into the PC. That's how it works. I've got um, Klipsch audio speakers. Love those things. Uh, the only bad thing about those was the uh, the subwoofer went out on them quite quickly. Uh, they only went in a year. Um, there's the... Uh... See, you know, I, I usually use Skull Candies during my uh, recording. It's just I like the more personal sound of having the uh, earbuds in. Um, it's just better for me. I don't know why I'm rambling still. I don't even know what else I'm going to talk about. Uh, so, yeah. Got a 747... 747 posters, um, piece of shit chair that squeaks a lot. In fact, if I come down here, this is what I always have to do, because it, well, it's not gonna do it now, of course it's not gonna do it now, whenever I want it to, um, but it squeaks really bad and it's a piece of shit. Oh, uh, there it is, the JVC. That's um, where the final product comes out so I can listen to it through um, speakers uh, that are not uh, those speakers, and they're not of headphones. I usually do it through three for my audio mixing because I don't want it to sound like shit. Uh, and recently, I apologize, my microphone has been sounding like shit. Uh, apparently, a few settings got completely reset, and there's a fan for when I sleep, so it makes the shh sound when I sleep. But yeah, I mean, like guys, that's that's the room. I know. I love it though. It's my home. You know, it's like. I get down in there and just get to work and do what I can do. I haven't even drank any of my soda yet. Look at that. No ice. Of course. Good stuff, Coca-Cola. But I'll tell you what. It's funny. With no no ice. Normally we put ice in our drinks when we're at home but um, or at, at a restaurant. But whenever you go into a gas station and you get a soda out of a bottle, you don't get ice in it. So... I don't know. You ask me. Um, or you tell me. Because I don't know. Hey, there's the GTA 5 booklet I was looking for earlier. There it is. I was going to put it in the, in the case. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, is there anything I left out? Uh, G27 pedals. Make sure we got those. Uh, yeah, we did. I'm going to do a terrible job of editing this video. I think I'm just going to leave it up as is. So I'll wait because it'll be like 15 minutes long and you guys will be like, um, too short, too long, too short. There's the little, uh, that's the little guy that runs the Ethernet box, um, for the internet. That's totally legit. It is 
uh, goes out the door. And I should have vacuumed before this video. I wasn't even planning on doing it. And I was just like, well, I've been needing to because I've been getting a lot of uh, questions about what I use and what I do. So there's the Elgato. Again, I didn't do any unboxing video, but it's another hand comparison. Yeah, I know. Great. Um, <laughs> that's, that's really it, though, guys. Uh, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll uh, see you guys out there. Oh, out there, what does that mean? I'll uh, see you in a future video. How about that one? Take care, guys.